वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल्स ऑन एम सी क्यू ऑन ग्राइंडिंग मशीन सो दिस इज अवर सेशन नंबर टू फॉर ग्राइंडिंग मशीन सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ग्राइंडिंग व्हील इज स्पेसिफाइड एज ए फोर्टी सिक्स के फाइव बी सेवनटीन ग्रेन साइज ऑफ ए व्हील बी ऑप्शन ए कॉर्स ऑप्शन बी मीडियम ऑप्शन सी फाइन एंड ऑप्शन डी वेरी फाइन सो जनरली द सेकंड लेटर और यू कैन से दिस नंबर that will be indicating the grain size of a grinding wheel so 46 it will be in category of the medium size so option b so if also you can find the number like 30 36 then 46 itself then 54 and 60 that will be also the category of medium size of grain size for grinding wheel so just you can check for the grain size this digit and if it will be in category of this one so that will be called as a medium so if it will be the coarse kind of grain size so that will be 10 12 14 16 20 24 if it will be the fine size so if you find that 80 100 120 150 so if you find a very fine size so it will be 220 240 280 320 400 500 so according to this value it will be having a different grade size so for this question 46 so that will be category of medium so option b the next question grinding wheel is specified as c8 k5 b17 so the grain size of a wheel b option a coarse option b medium option c fine option d very fine so according to the previous one so that will be the 8 so it will be below 10 so you can also considering as a 8 into the coarse side so the coarse side that will be the right answer if you want to learn in detail for all kind of this specifications of any kind of grinding wheels so you will find a link in my description for detail study then we will discussing with the next question which of the following grinding wheel will have fine grain size so option a 46 k 5b 17 option b c 600 k 5b 17 option c c 8 k 5b 17 and option d a 80 k 5b 17 so generally the third digit that will be indicating the grain size so here that will be the 46 for c 600 for option c 8 and option d 80 so as we already discussing into the first questions which of the following grinding wheel will be having a fine grain size so if you find this number into the category wise so 46 so 46 we already discussing into medium size medium size 600 that will be considering into very fine Eight that will be coarse, and eighty so that will be into the fine grain. So according to these questions, option D that will be the right answer. The next question: 
which of the following specified grinding wheel will have aluminium oxide as a abrasive option a z46 k5 b17 option b c600 k5 b17 option c c8 k5 b17 and option d a80 k5 b17 so basically the first letter that will be indicating as a aluminium oxide so as from the aluminium oxide that will be indicating with the a so the option d a80 k5 b17 c that will be generally used for the carbides and somewhere it will be the d that will be for the diamonds z for the zirconiums so according to that it will be using the different kind of ox abrasive materials so for here d a80 k5 b17 the next question operation done to make periphery of grinding wheel concentric with its axis to recover its lost shape is known as loading b glazing c dressing and d truing so by the application of truing you should make a recovery shape of it its grinding wheel so by the application of truing you can make the shape lost shape then next question removing dull grains in order to make grinding wheel is known as option a loading option b glazing option c dressing and option d truing so for truing we already discussing to lost the shape and converting into the finish so that will be the truing but in case of the removing of the dull grains in order to make the grinding wheel is known as a dressing so option c dressing then next question grinding wheel specified as c8 k5 r17 in iso designation or you can say indian standard organization designations what is the type of bond represent in grinding wheel so generally the fifth digit so just you can see 1 2 3 4 and 5 that will be representing the type of bond is being present so a vitrified b rubber c silk d epoxy so basically for indicating as a capital v that will be the vitrified if it will be the r that will be the rubber if you can find capital e for the silk so basically for this questions here that will be the r so rubber that will be used so option b the next question which of the following grinding wheel specified in iso designation will represent resin bond so just you can see this fifth number 1 2 3 4 5 that would be indicating as a resin bond so basically that will be the vitrified bond so generally in case of the vitrified bond it will be using v so vitrified bond produces strong rigid and porous wheel suitable for heavy grinding cuts if you find that silicate bonds so basically water glass sodium silicate hardened by baking so you can use it as a waterproof then if you find that r so that will be the rubber bond so generally by mixing abrasive grains with the pure rubber and the sulfur so in case of the resinoid bond so generally that will be called as a synthetic resin bond or you can say plastic bond so in case of that particularly 
plastic bond or resin bond so for resin bond generally that will be indicated as a capital P so this for the vitrified this is for the rubber and that will be for the elastic or you can say shellac kind of bondings so here that will be the resin bond so that will be indication as a B so if you want to learn in details so you will find a link in my description box for standard grinding wheel marking system so that will be help to understanding all kind of question answers the next question friability of grinding wheel is associated to option a hardness option b fracture option c size and option d none of the mentions so basically friability that will be related with the fracture taste so that will be called as a fracture so the fracture taste is performing so that will be associated with the fracture the next question loss in the sharpness of grinding wheel due to the presence of the chips in gaps of the grains is termed as option a loading option b glazing option c tracing and option d truing so basically truing is converting your loss of the shape then dressing generally removing the dull grain size so for this sharpness of the grinding wheel due to the presence of the chips in the gaps of the grains is known as a loading so option a so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching